Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars 6 inch Black Line Series Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, this figure is also from Star Wars Rebels. I'll give you guys a little 360 of him. Uh, I think it looks great. Now, there is a San Diego Comic Con version uh, that also comes with a bunch of different accessories. Uh, I really want to pick that up, but there's so much stuff coming out that I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it. So, uh, I definitely wanted to pick this one up since this is the regular retail release, so only 20 bucks, and it was there in store. Now, as far as accessories, he does come with a pistol that will fit in his holster here. Uh, so before we take a look at that, uh, let's go ahead and look at the nice detail of the figure. Uh, starting off with the face, uh, with those red eyes, I mean, are red around them and like orange uh, for the... Uh, uh, yeah, it looks really, really menacing and good, you know, especially, you know, tied in with this blue face. Uh, there is a little bit of paint mess up, uh, you know, not really here on the ear. That that one, for the most part, is pretty clean. Uh, over here, you know, they kind of missed uh, painting some black above the ear, so maybe I'll just take a Sharpie to part of that and just kind of clean that up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, you know, it looks really good. The sculpt in the face looks really nice. You can kind of see those expressions uh, with the muscles in the uh, forehead here. Uh, there with the the cheek, so a uh, really nice looking figure there. I can see that there's some a uh, gray paint. Uh, you can see the little blue and gray here. You can see all these are painted individually, also with the gray and blue on this side. You have the gold trim here at the top, and then with the belt, you can see that you have the kind of uh, silver. Uh, you can see a kind of a silver there, silver there, and going around the back is just black. Uh, down here, I like the way that they, they do the pants, how they have that kind of like little pleat uh, to it. Uh, same with uh, uh, General Hux uh, from First Order, uh, they, how they have the uh, you know the pants. So basically all the officer pants, I like that. Tucked into the boots, uh, just black boots, but look really good. And uh, I like the way that this figure came out. Uh, as far as his uh, pistol, uh, you can see... Uh, Different. I, I think this this is the first time that we've gotten this uh, particular mold of pistol, so I think it's pretty cool. And we can fit that into his hand. He's got a trigger finger, and there we go. So, uh, but I'll probably still just pose him kind of the way that I had um, in the beginning. I have General Hux posed the same way with his hands behind his back, because uh, that's the way we see him a lot in Rebels, to where he's listening to what people are saying and he's kind of breaking it down. Uh, but he's very calm and has his hands behind his back, so uh, that's the way I'm going to put him on my shelf. But it's cool that he has a pistol that he can have in his holster there. Uh, as far as articulation goes, uh, it's pretty much the same on all of them. You have the ball joint here, and you have the head that goes back and forth, so you can get however you want on the head. You the shoulders back and forth, in and out. You have the elbows, which will rotate 90 degrees. They go round then you have the wrist which rotate left to right this one over here goes left to right as well waist and kind of a, a bend so that's on a ball joint as well this is soft rubbery plastic so you can get some bends out of the legs uh, so these go back and forth in and out you have a thigh cut uh, right up here same on the other leg you have a double jointed knee and you also have the rotation in the foot and going front and back as well so a uh, really solid figure um you know maybe one day i'll track down the san Diego comic-con version so i'll have all the different stuff i wouldn't mind having two of these figures i, I double up on the ones that i really like uh for some reason but uh really solid uh so you know if you if you can't get the san Diego uh version then you know this is a, a nice one to get it doesn't come with the accessories but uh you know everything that you need in the figure uh looks really good so thanks a lot for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll talk to you later peace